we're just going to run through a few more examples of function operations. So here we have two functions, f of x equals negative x squared plus 7 and g of x equals 8x minus 3. And so we just need to evaluate these series of problems, starting with g minus f of 9. The first thing we must identify and understand is that this means g of 9 minus f of 9. And order is important. Now just like we did in the previous video, I'm going to use pink for working with f, and I'm going to use blue for the stuff that I do with g. All right, so off to the side, we're going to evaluate each of these guys. Now, since g is written first, I'm going to go ahead and do that one first. So g of 9 equals, just using this guy right here, that's 8 times 9 minus 3. All right, and this is equal to 72 minus 3, which equals 69. All right, but we're not done. We did one evaluation. Now we have to do the other one. We need to find f of 9. All right, so f of 9 equals negative parentheses 9 squared plus 7. Please make sure that you pay very close attention to what the square is touching. The square is only going to affect the 9. The square does not affect the negative. So here we get negative 81. Even if you did keep parentheses on it, you would still see that that's what it means. Uh, so negative 81 plus 7 is negative 74. Now let's come back here to the big expression, g of 9 minus f of 9. And I think it is important to use parentheses whenever you're doing the substitution back in here. So g of 9 is 69, and f of 9 is negative 74. So please note that there is subtraction here because of the way the problem is written. We're doing subtraction of these two functions. But now you've got a negative from that evaluation. So if I rewrite this without parentheses, that's 69 minus a negative 74 becomes a plus 74. And then we combine these guys together, and we get 143. And that's our answer. So I hope that you guys can see that there's nothing more than just understanding that we're doing subtraction here. We evaluate these guys individually off to the side. We bring these back in here, and we do the math. If this had said plus, the math over here would have been the same, except we would have had a plus here and a plus there, and you would have had 69 plus negative 74. Gives you a different answer, but it, the work over here to the side is still going to be the same. Uh, let's go to this next one. f plus g of negative 5. So this means you're going to find f of negative 5, you're going to find g of negative 5, and then you're going to add those results. That's it. So it's pretty simple to find each of these evaluations on their own, off to the side. So you do that, and then you bring them back together and add them. All right, so let's do f of negative 5 using the same functions that we had above. So that means, let's see, what do we have? Negative x squared, so that's negative replace the x with negative 5 squared plus 7. Be careful with your signs. You've got the negative here. When you square the negative 5, that becomes a positive 25. So look at it like that if that's going to help you. What you need to understand is that these two negatives don't see each other. This negative gets hit by the square first, and then you multiply times the negative. So you have negative 25 plus 7 is negative 18. And now let's find g of negative 5. Alright, g of negative 5, so that's 8 times negative 5 minus 3. We have negative 40 minus 3, which equals negative 43. And we come back here, back to the main part of the problem. f of negative 5, we find to be negative 18. 
and g of negative 5 is negative 43. All right, and so now we do what it says, which is to add these guys together, negative 18 and negative 53 gives me negative 61. So again, I can't emphasize this enough. Take those guys, separate them, and do them individually, and then bring them back together with whatever operation it says. In this case, it said addition. And the last problem, it said negative, or it said subtract. And let's look at the last one here. If I have fg of 4, that means that in this problem, you're going to find f of 4, you're going to find g of 4, and you're going to multiply those two results. All right, so off to the side, let's work this out. So f of 4 is equal to, going back to the beginning, negative 4 squared plus 7. So that's negative 16 plus 7, which equals negative 9. And then do g of 4 using the same function g at the top of the page. g of 4 is going to be 8 times 4 minus 3. So 32 minus 3, and that equals 29. So putting these back into the problem, f of 4 is negative 9, and g of 4 is 29. All right, so when we do this product, negative times positive is negative. If I do that, I should get negative 261. But you know what? Sometimes I go a little bit too fast and I don't pay attention. So let's see if I did the math correctly. So again, off to the side, we're going to scratch this out. So 29 times 9. All right, so that's going to give me 81. That's 18 plus 8 is 26. All right, so 261. And I already knew what my sign was going to be because I do pay attention to my signs. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully all this makes sense.